it is about just five years actually since Barry died, and that was a case in question, because I, uh, that very morning, it was a Saturday morning, I was about to go to New York, and every time to Europe had a, a Latin mass up there, and she phoned about seven o'clock in the morning saying something terrible had happened, that Barry had just been killed at half past two in the morning in the mine, and therefore that was a case in question. The person went, and there was no chance to say goodbye. But there, I'll just leave you with this, which I wrote then after I heard that news, because it does make you think about how fragile life is, and how, for some people, everything is devastated in one moment of time. That one moment of time can mean not only orientation of eternity, but also of the whole life of a person left behind. Because a good marriage, when one goes like that, is a devastating experience for somebody else. And there are many, many on this planet in that situation, people who had a good marriage, and they've been left in one moment of time without their better half. So appreciate your partner, appreciate your friend, appreciate your time, and remember, death sometimes comes uninvited. So I'll just finish now with this, so it's written after Barry's sudden departure. Goodbye, Barry. What tis to wave goodbye and not to know that but a part returns? While onward goes a soul once held by this. What tis to go and gaze upon the face that mid the throes of tearing and of hurt for a was dimmed in but a cosmic second that some hand let tap upon the clock that history trimmed in this its heavy clipping is to stand alone upon the shore of this wide world with more than half air lost. It is to be tossed to facts of dismal glaring and be hurled across a morrow's barrier that, uncrossed, <coughs> had left all time <coughs> in peace. Tis, friend, to cease to be again, for pain knows no Release. And as you know, they discovered after he had gone that Dimpner was pregnant. And little Barry never saw Big Barry. Maybe one day they'll meet on the other.